So, um, good morning, everyone. I just got my new uh, Lit Joy subscription, the Dark Arts Crate. This is actually my first ever um, subscription from them, subscription box that I pre-ordered. The other ones that I got were um, boxes that I already knew the contents and I just purchased um, after they were already released. So yeah, this is the box. You have the Dark Mark there, you have Hogwarts, and you also have Werewolf, <laughs> Aragog, so it looks like it's from Hogwarts and then the Forbidden Forest here. And then here we have Azkaban Prison. I already know that they have keys that is Azkaban related, the add-ons. So this is Bellatrix. Bellatrix and Nagini, I'm assuming. This is Tom Riddle's, Tom Riddle's dad's, where he's laid to rest. And at the bottom, let me see, I have my address here. So, um, bottom of the box is just the, uh, vanishing cabinet. So yeah, let's open it and see what's in store for us. Oh, you can order uh, this with um, a plastic packaging so that it doesn't get damaged. It's an additional like three dollars. Okay, um, so this is the cheat sheet. It's lenticular. It's pretty cool, but it's kind of wonky. So that's it takes away from the look so the dark mark's gone and that mark is there it's pretty cool it looks kind of like their um, version of the daily profit so we'll see that later at the content quick peek at the contents of the box and let's put that aside for now and let's see i have my keys here which i guess we'll open the add-ons first so this is the first key Ooh, I can already tell this is the Umbridge one because it's pink. Ooh, Ooh it's so cute. I love the pink. And um, this is the key itself. It's um the cat. Is it? Lenticular. Yeah, and it's it's lenticular too, like the cat. You can see it's moving its head. Pretty cool. <laughs> it looks like those um, pictures with the plates on her um, wall. And at the back, there is another cat. Another cat with. A lenticular. I think it's the same. There's also a flower there. I think it's the same cat. Yeah. All right. So that's one. And the next one is this. It's just a charm, I guess. With a cat in a teapot pretty cute and there's a heart pearl thing and there's a couple of pearls here and at the back it just says DJU which I guess is Dolores Umbridge 
And the last charm on the key is this one. The proclamation numbers says proclamation educational decree number 83 i will have order and in the little print right there let's see you can zoom in there we go it says as referred to in decree number 702 of 1983 formerly known to be the Ministerial Management of Magical Mayhem Act 719-1. And there is a lock here. And the lock actually moves, which is pretty cute. Alrighty. So that's key number one. And of course, there's the key ring right there. Key number one, and let's move on to key number two. <laughs> so this is the second key. It's chunkier, thicker. Dun, dun, dun. And this, I think, is what everyone's excited for. It's the Azkaban prison key. Ooh, she's hefty. Like, look at that. It's very, very thick. And there is like a chain here, which is pretty cool. It looks like a prison chain or something. <laughs> and that's where kind of when like Voldemort, I think it was Voldemort, who freed the prisoners. So there's that there. And that's the key right there at the bottom. Pretty cool. All right. Put that there, and this is a Dementor charm, and they have the bones sticking out here, enameled, kind of. It just says, Lit Joy Crate Lohmora Collection. There you go. I don't know, it makes it look kind of... It doesn't really look scary, like the Dementors in the movie are scary. This just looks like a skull inside, so, but cute in a way. And this, this is pretty nice. This is kind of like one of the things that they wear, the prisoner. Do they wear it? Or do they just hold it when they're getting their mug shots? I'm not sure I remember, but yeah, prisoner number something something rune and then 390. And yeah, that's what that's how it hangs. As you can see. There you go. <laughs> so that would be pretty cool. I'm gonna try to put it together. By the way, I tried using these rings as real keys, and they're, they're, they're not that good. My keys actually fell out, so don't use it. Oh, they actually look like handcuffs. Pretty cool. Pretty cool detail that I missed. So there's that. Let's put this in. that or should I put it at the back yeah. and there is the Dementor so that's what they look like when they're together let's see when I put this at the front and that's what that looks like Pretty nice and spooky. I wish they released this back in like Halloween. So cool. But anyway, that's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice. Okay. 
and now let's open the box and I think I already got spoiled I already know what's inside this thing but let me quickly show you because this they released it on their Instagram page and it's the Death Eater mask I think this is Bellatrix's mask it's just it's pretty heavy it's pretty heavy and that's what it looks like from the back and the pouch actually looks the same this is my first death eater mask because i'm not a death eater so <laughs> i don't have them but yeah let's see this is what it looks like it's pretty small like if you compare it to like the key it's smaller than the key so yeah that's what it looks like and then we have one of the best items i think looks like the dagger bellatrix's dagger mm, looks like most of them are bellatrix themed i think everyone was excited for this let's see Ooh, it actually looks so cool i think noble collection makes one but i don't have that one so but this is pretty cool let me zoom in on the features like there is a skull there well it's not that great but it's still a nice skull and then some curved edges here yeah the this is pretty weighty it's pretty heavy and that is the features of yeah, i think it's metal and that's what it looks like this is also metal but yeah pretty nice it's actually like i'd imagine this is like a letter opener looks like what like this is my hand and that's how big the dagger is pretty hefty i like it i really like it so it comes in this box it just has the dagger on it and next we have caution cursed object and i'm guessing this is the necklace because that's the cursed object in the movies Ooh, it's it's a pin um was it, which i was hoping for the real necklace because i really wanted that one from noble collection and i wished that they, they would have made their own copy or look alike or dupe of it but nah yeah um kind of sad if this were the real necklace i would have been so impressed with this box because everything's been quality so far but it's not oh <laughs> but the packaging is really cool so like they have a theme <laughs> anyway that is it for that. And oh, I got my free Lunicorn Library pin. That's what it looks like. And it just, it looks like a library book card and kind of like references to some of the other subscriptions, I guess, that they give um, books. Okay. It's nice that they gave a free pin. And let's see what else is here. This is just, um, was this the cover? Is this on the cover? No, it wasn't on the cover. But yeah, it's a postcard. It looks like a postcard. One of the things that they usually have in their boxes. And, which I don't use. This looks like a basilisk. Yep, um, the card about the basilisk. 
Serpent King, Venom, and then Strengths, and then Weaknesses. So yeah, that's the card. And this is the Vanishing Cabinet. And it's a lenticular piece. So let's open it up. See what it looks like. So yeah, it just opens and closes, and the apple shows up. The apple that Mafoy was testing with in the movies. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess, but I don't really usually like the paper stuff. And the last one is this one. This is the... Um, they also spoiled this one. It's sealed. It's sealed pretty well. And shrink wrapped. This is the blanket that has been spoiled as well in the Instagram page. So I already was expecting it. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Nope, it feels pretty nice. Pretty soft. Not as thick as I would want. Like, look at that. It's um, flannel. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna show this entire thing on here, but since I'm just so that's a dark mark. Let's see how I can show this thing. Um yeah, let's do this. Can you see that? That is what it looks like. So that's Hogwarts, and this is the lake, and this is the dark mark, and the full moon right there at the top. As you can see, that is what it looks like. It's a pretty big blanket. It would have been cool if I had this in Halloween, but... We don't. We didn't get it until December. <laughs> Middle of December. But yeah. Um, so that is it. And let's see the cheat sheet. This is the cheat sheet. Dark Arts Panic. Protect yourself from the dark arts, tips and tricks. Famous person murdered. Is the violence spreading? Is your home safe? And it says dark arts blanket. So you can pause here if you want to read it. And that's the measurements. 40 inches by 50 inches. And you can machine wash it. It's 100% flannel and then this is the bookmark disappearing cabin i love that it looks kind of like very harry potter themed the cheat sheet and then this is the cursed necklace pin you can read it if you want so that's four inches by three inches and the theme print which i don't really like those <laughs> And then the dark mark, dark dark magic mask replica. So that's what it looks like. And it's three inches by two inches. And this is Basilisk Adventure card. Darkness strikes again. And then Dark Witch Dagger Letter Opener. And that's it. It's seven inches long. And this is the featured add-ons. This is the pink professor's office key and the wizard prison key. And that's it. And this is the next box coming up. And um, not really a fan, so I 
I'm gonna skip the next box. Um, yeah, it looks like it's gonna be like water beer themed and there's a chocolate frog card and some lollipops and stuff, but I know they're not gonna include um, food on there, but it says sweets and treats will feature, feature items related to all your favorite homemade confectionaries from flavored jelly beans, so birdie bots I'm guessing, like a, something like this, um, frothy buttered beer, and chocolates. You know, you can actually purchase butter beer online now from the, uh, I forgot the website, um, but I can link it. It's, um, but if you Google it, I'm sure you'll find it. It's officially from like the Nina Lima design bottles. And I think it's from the New York store. So they'll ship it to you from New York and um, yeah, you'll get a butter beer from home now chocolates um this crate won't have anything edible but will be the most magical sugar rush you'll ever experience i'm guessing they're gonna provide like a some sort of like a mug or um a butter beer um you know those big things um which would be cool i don't know i'm not sure if i'm getting it but um i don't think so um depends on the spoilers i guess I think I purchased this box like late, like I I subscribed to the waitlist and I got in. So when I see um, the spoilers and if I like some of the items, I will subscribe. Um, it's about $54, I think, I purchased this. So for that price, I mean, this is probably maybe 10 or 20 same. 10, 20, this is probably 10, um, yeah, there wasn't anything else, I mean, because this is just an add-on, so the items that we got were just this and this and this, and the blanket, and these are just papers that I don't really care about, so, <laughs> um, yeah, is it worth it? I don't know. I feel like if this was the real necklace or even if they just made it like a bracelet, it would have been worth it. But um, with just these one, two, three, four, four items, I don't know. I've subscribed because I wanted the dagger and I thought this would be bigger, but, and I wanted to get the keys because you can't purchase the add-ons in advance without um you know purchasing the box so yeah i've started started collecting the keys so that's why anyway hope you guys enjoyed um let me know in the comments what are your thoughts um which items you wanted and yeah i'll see you in the next one bye